The Kurds are a people without their own country, and right now their cities are being hit from all sides, including in northern Syria. Neighboring Turkey is firing missiles unrelentingly. Payback, it claims, for deadly attacks, including a bombing in Istanbul on November 13th, even though there's no firm proof Kurdish groups were behind it. Turkey is specifically targeting civilian infrastructure in our region, said Kurdish General Mazlum. In an interview with CBC News, he pleaded with Canada to pressure its NATO ally Turkey to stop. Turkey is trying to destroy the region, he said. Turkey claims Kurdish militias in Syria fired at them. President Recep Tayyip Erdogan has warned he's poised to expand the conflict with a ground attack. Iran, too, has struck at Kurdish communities within its borders and in neighboring Iraq, killing dozens. Iran's Islamic rulers accuse the Kurds of instigating weeks of destabilizing street protests. The Kurds make an, an easy target in the midst of domestic struggles. Um, so for both the Turkish government and, and, and for the Iranian government, um, there's a certain helpfulness in being able to channel um, public attention, um, resources against this external threat. But NATO's leadership needs Erdogan's approval to add new members, Sweden and Finland. And Turkey is also a crucial Western partner countering Russia's war on Ukraine, which explains why Kurdish leaders are desperate for support. Concessions to Turkey should not be made at the cost of our people's blood, he said. The Kurds were valuable allies fighting the Islamic State. Many feel their Western partners deserted them in 2019 to placate Turkey and that they may be abandoned again. Chris Brown, CBC News, London.